As a volunteer firefighter, this has been a very challenging week. But on the positive front, our fence is 99% complete and I've experienced some amazing moments. And I just want to share them with you. You know, Chief, it was so funny. I didn't know what that button did. And uh, I was just pulling out of the bay and then everybody was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Live and learn. Wyatt, what are you doing? You should have brought Wyatt. He could have been, he could have been involved. Let's get him a little vest. <laughs> No, I thought you picked up my radio. Well, no, it took me a while to respond because there was a, a snow cone stand that I saw. I don't, I don't, if you, you may not know this, Chris, but this, um, I actually drink this. Oh. You know why? I used to have these tendencies where I would, I'd take off my clothes and just run around. But this prevents streaking. That, that explains a lot. <laughs> My chainsaw has not been running so good since my lips got chapped. Chief's wife has a snake in the house. Crystal, where, where, Crystal, this is Scott Hardy. I'm with Acme Snake Removal Incorporated. How are you? I'm a little freaked out at the time. Okay, I'm going to head over to your location. I have an address. I've got it. I have my telescoping snake stick that was sent to me from a viewer, so everything should be fine. Awesome. All right. He's bringing a two-foot pole. I'm bringing a two-foot pole for a three-foot snake. <laughs> she took a picture of it. Kind of looks like a rattlesnake. Ironically, or appropriately, I have a telescoping snake catching stick. It's not really a catching stick. It's sort of a guiding stick. Look at that. He's trying to retreat into that hole. Well, he was stuck inside of that, and then I tried to pull him out, and he didn't. He wouldn't come out. Yeah. Is this you're going to be your snake box? That was Okay, good. Oh, does it sm it's smelling? It might be it might be a rat snake. Then they all they, they can uh, secrete a musk. It was a lot longer than I thought. There we go. Yep. Did he come out? Yeah, I got him. It's kind of hard to tell. There you go, little man let you have that box and everything. All right. <laughs> yeah, you see almost it made it look like a pit viper because he flattened his head out so much. Yeah, but as soon as I felt how strong he was, I knew it had to be, it had to be a rat snake, bull snake. Gotta be careful. You did a good job. You did a good job? Yeah. Yeah, you stayed away when mommy asked you to stay away. <laughs> So I walked in and I go, so you have a snake? And I look at him and she's like, I didn't tell him that. And I was like, oh boy. <laughs> Uncle Scott shows up again creating trauma. <laughs> yeah, right. If you don't think he can get in there, oh, he sure can. He can get right through that. Poor little fella. He had wedged his head up there in a space about, I think about two inches, three inches up into that molding, but he hit a dead end, but he wasn't giving it up. He was just committing. Oh, look at that. Okay, I thought I had that box airtight. Where is he? <laughs> Save yourselves! Sorry, you guys. I'm terrible. By the way, thank you, Uncle TR. You know, you guys are actually keeping me safe. You're allowing me to do the things that I want to do, to save dogs, to help people roadside. The lights on top of this car were a gift from Independent Road Angel. And Uncle TR, who's an amazing vlogger, dude, very unfiltered, very raw, very awesome. He visited, he brought his dog, it's amazing. Just a really, really cool dude, so it's great to connect. So he mails me the telescoping snake stick. Arr! This is no lie, no joke. I went to reach for my knife and the case is empty. I've had this knife for 14 years. It was given to me from a veteran 
friend, amazing rider, racer, all around good dude. That knife has just been there. It's been a tool. It's a workhorse. It's a tactical knife and it's, the brand is called Tops and they're phenomenal. I got so excited about that snake, I left my knife on top of my car. <laughs> it's still there. Are you kidding me? Man, I am so grateful. Just look at it. How in the world? How in the world? Look at this. I just drove five miles down a curvy paved road out to Highway 21 where I went 60, 65 miles per hour down this dirt road, this bumpy dirt road. It's mind blowing. It's mind blowing. Mwah! I don't believe it. Listen, I know it's an inanimate object. I know things are replaceable, but this knife has been such a good companion. I'm just so grateful to be able to put it back in its home. Let's find your new home. I literally, as I'm carrying this box, I feel something across my arm and I just went by, I went by a cedar tree and a lizard has hopped onto my arm. I don't get the willies, but I'll tell you, that got my attention. I did the Scooby, I went <laughs> It's almost a physical impossibility for this to remain. Dude, you've been through a lot. Just got rear-ended by a big truck. Let's make sure we're all right. <laughs> You're all right. I know it's so low. Didn't even scratch it. Cool. Man. It just lined up perfect. I might have nicked your license plate, but other than that, we're good. <laughs> I appreciate it. Man. Thank you, man. Have a great day. Super nice guy. He pulled over expeditiously and he was so sweet. You heard him. He's like, I didn't even feel it. Well, <laughs> you could run over my entire box and not feel it. I was at the light and it was like, boom. <laughs> it's just nice when it all works out, when everything's okay. It was good running into him. Well, the other way around. Look, there's another one back there. Now I got the PTSD for the gravel truck. I can't even see gravel. Don't even talk to me with a gravelly voice. <laughs> I'm triggered! Whoa. Wow. Christine just called me. She's right at that stripes over there. I can't quite get to it yet. And something has happened that needs to be shared. I'm going to let Christine explain it. Hey, kid. Get over there. Sit in the car? Yeah, we'll sit in the car. Let's we'll sit in the car. Let's sit in the car. Alright, so. Alright, they have to tell the story. What, what is going on here? Okay, so we were looking for vehicles today, new vehicles. Well, used, new to us. This looks new, I like it. <laughs> it's a rental, it's a rental. Isn't it? Oh, hey, just don't give it back. That's you know, what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Keep guys. It forever. <laughs> we pulled into Covert and drove around their used car section and had stopped to look online and he looks up and says hey there's a dog under that car and so I opened the door to talk to it and it ran and he goes Aww. that dog was posted on our neighborhood page it's somebody's dog you just recognized it yeah mm -hmm. just look because I was on the neighborhood page and so I called the lady and she freaked out and her and her husband came over and I told them look the dog ran which I was like cussing myself because you almost know better, but at the same yeah. time, I wanted to see if it would come because I oh. didn't step. I almost it. chased a dog oh, into the I street last drive. night. I was like, shoot! I yeah. Yeah. And, uh, about that too. So he ran, and we were all searching and searching, and the dad got him. And they had a $500 reward, and we told him wow. we didn't want their reward, that we would rather it go to the Hardy Hayes Refuge. So, $500 to save the lives. I know. I don't know what to do with them. So. It's gonna make me cry day. So Max is home. Oh. Yay. Well, the dogs owe them you. a really nice you, dinner. Thank you, thank you, Wait a minute, who's this guy? This is 
nail out. This isn't the one you found, is it? No. I was gonna say. <laughs> this is the one that Here's came Here's $500 from the to take our dog. Her bar that's going to. Oh, you're just steam. transporting? Yes, but feel. Somebody has burned all of her fur. I bathed oh. her, and her whole fur, her whole coat has been burned. Kenneth doesn't seem big until you get him in the car. Ah! <laughs> like, I'm, I'm back here. I know, I know. I'm back here in the kids' seats back here. I got a little booster. I got a little booster seat. And if you look up here, your knees are bent in, and I'm the same way. Oh, I've moved all the way up, and I'm screwed. Up. Yeah, they may have to get a different car. Yes. What kind are y'all looking at? Truck. 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 She's so cute. This poor little girl's been waiting. Her owners, so she has a microchip, but her people didn't want her. Um, but they didn't bother to call back and say that. Oh, so she's been sitting there waiting. She's been waiting, scared, scared, scared. As it turns out, building this fence has probably been one of the best workouts I've ever had. I wasn't sure what Caitlin was doing, but I was giving her some Uncle Mullet coins and an Uncle Mullet sticker and telling her how fabulous I am. And I just realized that Harley is just sort of going to sleep like on her shoulder. And then Caitlin just goes, oh, I can't even. And I'm like, what is she talking about? I was like, it's just Uncle Mullet stickers and coins. And then I realized that Harley's just sort of melting. Oh my God. Harley is heartworm positive, but your views, just watching these videos has helped pay for her treatment and visiting unclemullet.com, all that you do. Thank you. I'm so lucky. I'm selfish because I get to experience these things and we get to experience the completion of these dogs that start up in terrible situations and end up meeting really fantastic people like this. So, this is great. She's such a little love nugget. <laughs> love nugget. Harley goes to Kaylin, her forever home, later this week. I got some friends in some pretty high places, so what I'm going to do is send that. Hey, hey. See that? It's a sneaky roll. It's trying to come up and fall down on that side right there. They didn't know I got my spidey sense on right now. Basically, I'm a, a ninja that, uh, that you can see. I'm not invisible. And I don't work as fast as a ninja, but I'm just, I'm just right under, I'm just right under ninja. And somebody had the unmitigated gall to comment on my channel. They said something like, maybe you'd get that fence done a little faster if you wasn't talking into your little GoPro all the time. Okay, let me tell you something. People that say things like that just have common sense and intelligence. I ain't got no room for that in my life. Common sense and intelligence. Don't be getting on my channel with stuff like that. I'm a fence man. I'm a fence man. In America. Mickey is coming along. <laughs> She's a dream. And what had happened here with her teats? So she had horrific, on her last litter, for some reason, she had horrific bacterial infection and fungal infection oh. covering them hard and then pustules coming out. They were infected. How are you mitigating it? Well, I did um, topically with special shampoo, um, coconut oil, and antibiotics. <laughs> well, she may. Look at her. Huh? Brie? So little Brie, I, I called her Schnauzy McGee, also going to a forever home this week. Thank you, she Dad. just needed a chance. This is our new medical case, Christine. Uh, Christine. I is... don't have time, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. I do worry about Christine. I know that she pushes it, you know, that she, she dedicates her entire life to these dogs, seven days a week, 365 days a year and anyone can get burnout, you know? It all works out. It's the price you pay for the reward that it brings us, and the reward is phenomenal. To see these animals get healthy and get homes, it makes your heart want to explode <laughs> with goodness. This is the second time I've seen that sunrise, and I haven't slept. I got up, I worked on the fence, Christine and I had a show to do in Austin. I came back, I closed the restaurant, and on the way home, I just felt like I should stop by the station. In the past few days, I've seen some pretty harsh images, and I talk about them. I don't talk about them here for a number of reasons, but 
Um, but I talk it out. The way I deal with it is the way that my chief on down encourages us to talk about it. Because you don't talk about it, you suppress it. And what do you deal with those suppressed feelings? You, you overeat, you drink to numb out. There are people that have been in the business of firefighting, saving lives a lot longer than I have. And they know, and they pass that tribal knowledge on to me. But I, but I just feel grateful. I feel grateful to be able to drive home. I feel grateful that, that my wife is sleeping and she'll be happy to see me. That I get to walk this earth another day. That I get to see my animals. That I get to be here a little while longer. Listen, I know I act goofy. It's what I do to divert or avoid real feelings. I don't drink them away. I don't eat them away. I kind of try to joke them away. A lot of my humor is to help me deal and also kind of keep me distracted. And I'm grateful for you guys. So until next time, please be good to one another. Live to ride another day. Thank you. These dogs and their stories, it just sort of wipes it all clean, you know? I hope you have something like that in your life. If it's not a person, an animal. It, 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 when you hold something and you give it your love, you, you, you step outside of yourself. You, you become a part of something bigger. And uh, it's what works for me. Got to get my ATV started up again. Now what I like about this gate is it's quite sturdy and of course these are very small. None of our dogs are smaller than this which is a good sign. Close to it but not quite. And what I really like about this gate is it works. Isn't that nice? It doesn't even squeak. But we can work on that. I'm going to add a little rust to it and we can make a dramatic I'm very sound effecty lately. I'm not sure what's going on with me. No, I, I, I...